Have you ever wondered if superpowers only exist in comic books or movies? Well, sit tight because we're about to dive into a world where the extraordinary becomes ordinary. A world where the line between fiction and reality blurs. A world where, believe it or not, superpowers are real. Now, when we say superpowers, we're not talking about flying through the air or shooting lasers from one's eyes. No, we're talking about real people with extraordinary abilities that baffle scientists and defy explanation. These aren't your everyday skills or talents. These are abilities that push the boundaries of human potential and challenge our understanding of what it truly means to be human. Many of us grow up with the idea that superpowers are fantastical, the stuff of comic books and superhero movies. We're taught that they're the product of science gone wrong or the gifts of alien beings from galaxies far, far away. But what if we told you that superpowers can and do exist in the real world? What if we told you that there are individuals walking among us who possess abilities that are nothing short of superhuman? It's a concept that's hard to wrap our minds around, isn't it? But don't dismiss it as mere fantasy. Because, right here, right now, we're about to introduce you to individuals who are living, breathing proof of the existence of superpowers. We're gonna delve into their stories, explore the science behind their abilities, and maybe, just maybe, challenge some of your preconceived notions about the limits of human potential. So buckle up because we're about to take you on a journey into the fascinating, mind-boggling world of real-life superpowers. Prepare to have your mind blown with these true stories of real-life superpowers. Meet John Ferraro, also known as the Hammerhead. A man who has turned heads, literally and figuratively, with his extraordinary ability to withstand blows that would send most of us straight to the emergency room. John's story is as extraordinary as the man himself. Growing up he realized he was different when a bicycle accident that would have broken most skulls left him with nothing more than a minor headache. This was the beginning of his journey into the world of superhuman endurance. As an adult John decided to put his unique ability to the test. He entered the world of professional wrestling, where his robust skull quickly earned him fame and the nickname, Hammerhead. But John didn't stop there. He decided to push his limits even further and embarked on a quest to set a world record. Enter the concrete slabs. Yes, you heard it right. John Ferraro holds the world record for breaking the most concrete slabs on his head in one minute. 25 slabs to be exact. A feat that would be fatal for most but not for our Hammerhead. So. What's the secret behind John's unbreakable skull? Scientists attribute it to an unusually thick cranial bone. Normal human skulls are about 7 millimeters thick, but John's is double that, measuring around 14 millimeters. This extra thickness gives his skull the strength to withstand impacts that would fracture a typical human skull. But there's more to it than just thickness. John's skull has a high bone density, making it not just thicker but also denser and tougher. Combine this with a unique genetic makeup and you have the perfect recipe for an unbreakable man. John's skull is not just a marvel, it's a mystery that continues to baffle scientists. It challenges our understanding of the human body's limits and opens up a world of possibilities. Is it an evolutionary adaptation, a genetic anomaly or something else entirely? John's skull is a testament to the human body's incredible potential. Next, we have Wim Hof, the Iceman. Let's delve into the chilling tale of this Dutch daredevil who has defied the laws of biology. Wim Hof, known famously as the Iceman, has an extraordinary ability to withstand freezing temperatures that would send most of us scrambling for the nearest cup of hot cocoa. Hof's exploits are nothing short of legendary. He has run a marathon in the Arctic Circle wearing nothing but shorts, swum underneath ice for 66 meters, and even scaled Mount Kilimanjaro in his signature shorts. But what makes Hoff truly extraordinary isn't just his ability to endure the cold. It's his claim, and scientific backing, that he can control his own immune system. It's a claim that would seem far-fetched if not for the numerous scientific studies conducted on Hoff. In one study, Hoff was injected with an endotoxin, a substance that would typically cause symptoms such as fever, chills, and headaches. But Hoff, using his self-developed method of deep breathing, meditation, and exposure to cold, showed almost no symptoms. Instead, he demonstrated an ability to influence his autonomic nervous system, a feat previously thought impossible. This Wim Hof method, as it's now known, is being taught all around the world, with thousands swearing by its benefits. It combines specific breathing exercises, gradual cold exposure, and meditation. The method is said to boost the immune system, increase energy levels, and reduce stress, among other benefits. It's important to note, however, that while Hof's feats are undeniably impressive, 
they are not without their risks. His methods are extreme and should not be attempted without proper guidance and preparation. Before we close let's marvel one last time at the Iceman, a man who through sheer determination and training has turned himself into a living breathing defiance of biological norms. His story serves as a stark reminder of the incredible often untapped potential of the human body. Wim Hof has truly pushed the boundaries of what we believed the human body could endure. Now let's talk about Shakuntala Devi, the human calculator. Picture a world where numbers dance and perform at your command, a place where the complexities of mathematics are as simple as breathing. This was the reality for Shakuntala Devi, a woman who, even as a child, possessed an extraordinary mathematical ability. Born in Bangalore, India, in the early 1930s, Shakuntala Devi's talent was evident from a tender age. By the age of three she could perform complex calculations in her head, to the amazement of those around her. Her skills earned her a place in the 1982 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records. But it's not just the speed of her calculations that's remarkable. It's the complexity and scale of the numbers involved. Take for example the time she was asked to multiply two 13-digit numbers. She answered correctly in just 28 seconds. Yes, you heard that right, 28 seconds. That's faster than most of us can even comprehend the question let alone calculate the answer. What's even more fascinating is that Shakuntala Devi didn't use any traditional methods or shortcuts to perform these calculations. She didn't write anything down, didn't use a calculator, and didn't rely on memory aids. Her mind was her abacus, and she manipulated numbers with a speed and accuracy that left scientists puzzled. In fact, studies of her brain and cognitive processes have provided valuable insights into how the human mind works. But even after extensive research, the mystery of Shakuntala Devi's talent remains largely unsolved. It seems we have much to learn about the untapped potential of the human brain. Shakuntala Devi's story is a reminder that sometimes the most extraordinary superpowers are not about physical strength or endurance, but about the capacity of the mind. In a world where we often value physical prowess over mental agility, it's worth remembering the power of the human brain. Shakuntala Devi has truly challenged our understanding of human intelligence. These individuals are just a few examples of real-life superpowers. In the last few minutes we've delved into the extraordinary lives of people who embody the impossible. From the unbreakable man, whose bones refuse to break under pressure, to the ice man, able to withstand freezing temperatures to a level that would be deadly for most of us. We've even explored the mind of the human calculator, a man whose brain processes numbers at a speed that would make a supercomputer blush. These individuals aren't just anomalies or outliers, they're living proof that the human body and mind have capabilities far beyond what we typically understand or even imagine. They challenge our definitions of normal and push the boundaries of what it means to be human, the unbreakable man, for instance, doesn't just have an unusual physical condition, he represents the resilience and strength that all of us carry within us whether we know it or not. And the Iceman? His ability to endure extreme cold isn't just fascinating, it's a testament to the power of the mind over the body, a reminder that we can achieve seemingly impossible feats with the right mindset and training. And let's not forget the human calculator. His lightning-fast calculations aren't just about math. They're about the untapped potential of the human mind, the limitless possibilities that lie in the power of our brains. These stories are not just about superpowers. They are about the power of the human spirit, the determination to overcome obstacles, and the courage to push the boundaries of our own abilities. They inspire us to look within ourselves, to explore our own potential, and to challenge our own limitations. So the next time you flip through a comic book or settle down to watch a superhero movie remember this. Superpowers may not be as fictional as you think. The real superpowers reside within us, waiting to be discovered, harnessed, and celebrated. The next time you read a comic book or watch a superhero movie, remember that superpowers may not be as fictional as you think.